rescue medics, rescue medics were by then on scene with one of our FDNY physicians, and unfortunately, we had to uh, pronounce the uh, victim, one of the workers, uh, dead at the scene. Uh, the rest uh, searches throughout the rest of the building and the buildings on either side of it were completely negative. There were no other victims. There was no other structural damage to, to the buildings on either side of it. Uh, this uh, uh, response brought a uh, the FDNY uh, major uh, response, uh, collapse response, which brought 25 pieces of apparatus and approximately 80 uh, FDNY uh, fire and EMS personnel to the scene. The victim has been removed. The uh, building, the scene is being turned over to the Department of Buildings and the NYPD. Any questions? What uh, led to the collapse? The floor collapsed, as I said, in a V shape, which means the middle of the floor collapsed and uh, came down on top of the victim. We're not sure what uh, caused it. Uh, there were uh, construction materials on the floor at the time of the collapse. If it caused it or not, I, I don't know right now. Shape meaning like the beam? The, yes, the beam collapsed in the middle, which which caused, which caused created a V-shape. Miles, can we hear from, oh, stop. hold on, hold on, hold on, Miles. Uh, Commissioner, could you talk about the partial stop work order here? Um, there was one from December? Yeah, so we were, we were out here based on two uh, complaints in December, or on the 23rd of December, and could not get access to the site. We came back out on January 4th and were able to see uh, excavation being done. At that time, we issued the stop work order. The only work that should be should have been done at this site is to make the site safe. Uh, and as you can see, that stop work order was violated. There are absolutely no plans submitted to the Department of Buildings. Um, so this fatality uh, absolutely should not have happened. They should not have been doing this work, let alone having uh, a bobcat inside uh, th this structure. Uh, right now, uh, our forensic engineering uh, team just arrived uh, at the start of the press conference. They will do a top to bottom evaluation, including, and it is obviously a concern, ensuring that there's no uh, questions about the structural integrity of uh, the adjacent buildings. We will work with our partners at HPD tonight to secure the building, to seal the building, uh, and of, of course, always thankful to our partners at FDNY and NYPD. Hold on, hold on, hold on, next question. She's next. Yeah. Can you tell me about any potential enforcement here? I mean, this is they are unpermitted and someone died here, are we talking about civil or are we talking about criminal charges potentially against the owners of the building? I, I, I won't speak, I can't speak to the criminal charge. I can tell you uh, that that we, we, will, we will use what's ever in our capability. It's a $12,000 fine for the initial work. To Violating the stop work order is another $25,000 fine. There could be multiple fines at this location, so the amount may end up in six figures. Uh, that's all I, at this point, uh, you know, we can say. Yeah. Commissioner, none of the work being done here at all from the beginning, none of it was permanent, none of it was legal? There are no plans, there, there are no plans submitted to DOB, correct. Any more questions? Yeah. All right, thank you guys. Excuse me, that container that's there, was that all that was removed from that uh, work site? I'm sorry, which the that's container here, the yeah. container of dirt. I don't know. I, I, I can't I can't give you a definitive answer on that right now. All right, thank you guys. Let let let's let our forensic engineering unit do their work and we'll have a better understanding about the structural integrity of all of it in a little while. Commissioner, can you tell us about that was in there?